Introducing the Banny Light. Oh, well that's not very epic. Let's try again. Okay, today we're looking at the Banning Light frame. I'm going to show you how to put it together. Now, the Banning Light frame does come with a lot of spares, so there's no need to err my god when you think you haven't used all the parts. So, the parts that you're going to see here are the only parts you're going to need for the main frame. So, let's get building. First of all, grab the very bottom plate, doesn't matter which side, and one of the arms. You can see that the arms fit on like this. You can just line up the holes. This sits on top of the very bottom plate. Then we're going to grab one of our 15 millimeter screws and stick it in the very end hole. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our middle plate. You can see that this can be installed accidentally upside down, so you need to make sure that you install it this way. So just go ahead and push that 15 mil screw through the very end hole again, and then grab one of your standoffs and screw it all down together. This doesn't need to be super tight at the moment, in fact you don't want to screw any of these screws as tight as possible, you just want enough play in there to be able to move it around a little bit. Continue to build the rest of the arms using the 15mm screws all the way around. You will notice that the arm ends will then meet in the middle, giving you a nice tight fit without any play. To increase the arm rigidity even more, you can use the 10mm screws going in through the bottom into those pressed screw nuts. Just like the standoffs, I would only hand tighten these for the time being. You're going to want to get the rest of the screws in because you're going to need a little bit of wiggle room to get them all in. Hopefully if you're following this guide, your quad will now look like this. So let's move on to the camera plates. You've got two camera plates plus a couple of spares in the bag. We're going to fit the brace going across here. We're just going to press fit this inside and then take the other one and press fit that also. Then we can just push that down into the mid plate like this. The frame's ready for its Motors ES season flight controller. Then when you're going to finish, you can just top it off with the top plate. You will note that there is countersunk screw holes on there, so you'll want to fit it on the right way. And finally, you can tighten everything up with a 2mm driver. 